everyone, how are you doing? Welcome back to the second episode of Postgrad series. If you saw the first episode, you already know we are working on JavaScript and building a website that is simple, minimalistic, aesthetic, monetizable, ready to go in the market. That's what we're gonna complete in this video. It took me more time than I expected uh, while working on this project because A. I just got free from my internship so I'm like a free bird now so I can totally devote my time on this and as a responsible Netflix subscriber I just had a lot to watch sorry I got a little distracted we had K-pop demon hunters we had squid game uploaded I was very occupied with entertaining myself so this week we're totally gonna focus on this project and we're gonna get it done by the end of the video we're gonna deploy it and we're gonna get it live before starting the video i got this comment i am a computer science student and now my specialization is in front-end development only so in our course we are taught data analytics data mining and sql and we're also taught in the name of web development uh, html css and js along with that to further enhance my skills i learned react and for data analytics part i learned power bi so i already have the gist of it one goal in going through the course is to refresh my memory, get my basics more clear. And the second goal with taking the notes down, that's like a very long-term plan. I'm also trying to get a course done for you guys, where you can learn JavaScript and build projects that are actually monetizable and are gonna look pretty amazing on your resume. To build that course, basically I'm writing down everything in this notebook as a part of the research for the course. I'm trying to study about JavaScript from different resources. This is like the research, uh, the database for what I should include in my course and how I should present you the information so that you can learn in the most efficient and the easiest way possible. And with that, I don't want you to just learn the data types in JavaScript. I want that when you finish this course, you will have projects that A, are gonna look, of course, amazing on your resume, B, they're gonna be working projects, which means that you can earn money from these projects and create your own company, which is totally doable. So even if you, you know, by the end of your college degree, you don't get a placement offer, you still have income source. So that is basically it. Building this course, it's gonna take some time Honestly, hopefully that answered your question. Hello, long time no see. So I finished the table and the 
adding and deleting rows and that logic. Now I'm only left with the preview of the form, as in whatever I add in the table that should be previewed in the form preview as well. I am going to do it in like some time today. <sighs> hey everyone, I just took a break because my brain is overloading now. I made my comfort food. I just chop up some potatoes, cook them, and put mayonnaise and pasta sauce and salt and chili in it and call it a day. So the problem in my code is that I added a download PDF button, but it's not working. Download function is having some error that I have no idea about because when I'm pressing download PDF, it is downloading the PDF, but that PDF is blank. I was like, okay, then maybe it is like, like the DOM is not updating probably, but then I saw it on console and the DOM is updating. And yet there is like nothing in my PDF. So I asked ChatGPT, I was like, bro, what the hell is happening here? Uh, it mentioned the same issue that probably like DOM is not updating, so. They just told me to do a lot of stuff and blah 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 and I did but then it didn't work and then I was so sad I just restored my code and then I shut it off and then I I need to eat before I last. Good morning everyone or good afternoon. I was about to go to lunch right now but I just wanted to inform you that I got the letter of intent from Deloitte. So that means that I am probably going to move out sooner than I expected and I'm scared and I'm shitting my pants because this is the first time I'll be moving out and I'm scared but I'm also very excited but I just wanted to let you know that. pm-ish and i completed my project but i still don't have a logo so i also fixed the download pdf problem that I, that I was facing well apparently all i had to do was shift tag just putting the flow wrong which is weird because i was taught that all the script tags are supposed to be at the bottom of the program right but apparently that's not really true Hey everyone, so we completed this project finally. <sighs> Thank you so much for like going through this entire project with me. I need to add it in my Git as well and I need to deploy it. Is this something that you would be interested in watching as well? How to deploy and also get into a little bit marketing and sales as well because just making a product is not enough you also need to know how to market it and make people use it so the next step for this project will be first it's going to be deployment and then it's going to be marketing and yeah if that is something you would like to see do let me know otherwise i'm just going to do it in secret i'll see you very soon baby girl you are so pretty 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 